that today, right? With Medical Month, Jennifer and Erin are here to talk to us a little bit about this. Erin, why don't you tell us, or excuse me, Jennifer, what makes Medical Month different? Well, we went the rescue route, so um, very different than other um, service dog organizations. We decided not to breed dogs, but to pick dogs from local rescues and shelters and work in partnership with them. Um, it's not an easy route because there, there are very few dogs that can actually do the job, mm -hmm. um, but it's very dear to our heart. We want to uh, not only help the dogs that are in the shelter, but also promote the idea that there are fantastic dogs in the pound. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. work with them, if you know how to, if you take the time to learn how to train them, you can have amazing results with, with dogs that you get from them. And I should mention, I looked at, because there's all this thing with fake service dogs, and there's some organizations wanted to, I can train your dog in six weeks. Yeah. This takes a lot of time. And I checked out your credentials. Blow your own horn. You worked for ICANN as a trainer I for a while? Like, I was oh, a director okay. of training for ICANN for a good number of years. Um, and then I've been training dogs for over 30, 30 years. years. I have a you were four when you started. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm 50 this year, Ken. I'm 50 this year. I guess I'm, oh, I was 18 when I started. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, wow, so this wow. has become a life passion. Oh, yes. It's, it's yes. It's okay. a uh, it, I mean, and I and I've been uh, you know to college to learn about uh, dogs at a very high level. So I'm a you know I have a PhD in animal behavior psychology. Oh, okay. Um, that's you know what I really that's really what I what I wanted to do in life. Okay. And Erin, Erin has some. You have and you're willing to talk about this post traumatic stress mm -hmm. disorder, and you have a little some autism. Yeah. And uh, your dog is your pet. Started out as your pet, and it was a rescue as well. Um, I got him as a rescue to train as a service dog. Okay. okay. And he passed the test for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Talk to me about some of the things he does for you. Um, he does deep pressure therapy. He's laying on my feet right now. Um, and that's just a calming mechanism that and lowers stress. That? Yeah. Okay. And he's taught himself to lay on my feet. But he also will, has been taught to put his head on my lap or get on top of my lap to put the pressure of it to help calm me down. I love How much it. of a difference has it made for you? Um, a lot. Um, I probably would never have been able to be on TV. Yeah. I never wanted to do much with school. <laughs> Um, wow. besides going to class and going right home. Yeah. And with him, I can stay on campus all day if I wanted to. Oh, and, and when I, I first that. met her, even um, family gatherings were difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really. That's great. Okay. And we saw some video there. This was when we were doing a story coming up on Pet Pals TV with Jennifer and some other of her clients going through the mall, going through, the, you know, just temperament testing and making sure the animal's good because they have to go out in public. Yeah. And a service yeah. dog can go anywhere a human can go. That's okay. one of the things they do. Pet Pals TV starts at uh, 10 o'clock right after Nina yeah. and Marcus <laughs> on daybreak and then at 10.30. Nina, I know you want your own copy. Yep. Uh, of Indie Boomer Magazine just out and we have a new edition of uh, Boomer TV at 10.30 with a repeat with Larry Bird and also uh, some of your favorite, just one year anniversary. Yay. Okay, great. There you go. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Marcus? All right. And, uh, good morning to all.